Hey all, I bought some pre-made sort of rock sliders, if you want to call them. The main part's pre-made, but the brackets put your weld on, um, your short piece of pipe, you cut the length. I had to buy some flat steel and all that sort of stuff. I sort of got it all together. I'm going to take some photos and everything. Um, show you the way, I'll add it to this video's um, slideshow. Uh, as I go, I'll take photos of it all and show you all how it all works and all that. I don't have time to show them after video constantly of how to do it all and go around to the shop and get things and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, um, I'll have to buy bolts and paint and all sorts of things and I can only do a bit at a time. I don't have heaps of time to do everything all in the one go. But I'll take photos of the process and I'll add it into this video and then I'll show another video at the end showing you the finished product with it all bolted on the car hopefully at the end I'll um, show you that I'll add some photos in of the slide show to show you how it was all built and take it easy and watch it all fold out to be all bolted on the car hopefully at the end take it easy, enjoy the slide show again after about a week or two um, she's all built bolted on the car now she's on there she's on there pretty good hopefully yeah what I'd show you So, it's all on there. Yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the um, slide show of photos. Yeah, it's all bolted on there and everything. So, hopefully that works. I didn't do it on the 45 degree angle because um, I've got kids and I thought I'd do it more of a flat type sidestep rock slider idea. Makes it a bit easier for the kids to use them to get in and out of the car. One day I might um, screw some aluminium on top, hopefully. But that's just how that is at the moment. And I'll probably get some um, two, three mil aluminium and put on there, maybe checker plate, stick on top. 
maybe pot rivet or flat screw head on. And yeah, just thought I'd show you. But yeah, I don't more of a sidestep idea because um yeah the old GQs you can't get um anything um structurally sound as um sidesteps so I use rock sliders. The main rock slider come pre-built. It was already built but I just had to make the brackets up and um cut the pipe to length and weld them all on and yeah there was a lot of work involved. It took me about two weeks to do it all. Uh, making the brackets and all that. As I've got other things in life to do than just working on cars. I've done the winch and Eric on this one as well. So it's got a winch on the front now. As you'd know by my previous video. Got a winch on there. Now. Good old King's Dominator. Extreme. I also ordered it with the um, Nolophane rope. Also got the recovery bag and everything in the back there. Because of the shovel and all that sort of stuff. But yeah, hopefully he's like how that's all worked out. And um, yeah. Probably not perfect, but it's better than nothing. And um, yeah, it makes it a bit easier for people to get in and out of the car now. And protects the rocker panels and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, that's what we plan was of it all. Yeah, hopefully protect the car a little bit better. But yeah, have a good one. And uh, this is the 302 Windsor V8 Patrol, what I built. So yeah, she's pretty well done to what I'll build it as now. Apart from a couple of little things here and there, I'd like to maybe give it a paint job, maybe in the future, if no one buys it off me in time. But yeah, other things to do in life. Plenty of other cars to fix around the yard. But yeah, I've got the VJ Valiant to build. That's the next one on the list. You would see some upcoming videos of VJ Valiant getting painted. Hopefully uh, next year sometime or maybe this year. We'll see how it goes. When I get time, I'll start getting into it and start um, throwing some videos out of the old VJ. In the meantime, I'll save up some dollars and maybe give this one a paint job. We'll see how it all works out. Take it easy. Have a great day and enjoy the video.